Hello and welcome to Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. I'm your host for today, Geraldine Bisset Joseph. Today we are joined by a representative from one of the island's leading resorts, and that is actually Tikai Resort and Spa. As part of the Business Month activities, um, Mr. Nick Pinnock, who is mm -hmm. our guest today, is actually here to highlight the practices used within his respective organization in relation to energy efficiency plans and the work carried out thus far on the path to a plastic-free environment. So first of all, before we even start, thank you for joining us here today. Mr. Thanks for having me. Okay, brilliant. So first of all, can you tell me about, um, just provide me actually with a brief description of your company and the operations of the resort? Um, <coughs> Sure. Uh, well, Tikai uh, Resort and Spa is uh, located halfway down the west coast of St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a 33-room boutique um, hotel, two restaurants, spa, dive shop. Um, uh, we have a great wine cellar. Okay. Um, and just r roughly about 100 employees. So okay. it gives you an idea of the size of the business. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Now, um, I know that um, your company now deals with environmentally friendly and eco-friendly food service containers. Mm -hmm. What made, um, what, was the what was it that this, your company, why did your company decide to switch rather to using these kind of containers? Well, I think it's, um, it was a decision that I made some time ago. Mm. Um, and I wanted to implement a lot more uh, environmental practices at the hotel because uh, mainly of the, the type of business we're in. Um, we are in tourism and we have to showcase our island and that is the main attraction. It's really the island and then secondary in my view is, is, is the actual place, the resort that you're going to be staying at. Um, so yes, it's, it's, it's done uh, you know, uh, somewhat as a feel-good um, uh, policy internally um, but also I felt that we really needed to be the change that we wanted to, to see on the island. Mm -hmm. I've been talking about this for a long time mm -hmm. um, with other uh, hoteliers and in the industry itself. Um, and I felt that, you know, what better way to, to really um, uh, implement change than, uh, than other than, uh, you know, leadership by example, really. So we... we researched where we could find those containers and, and switched over. It was actually quite easy and seamless. Okay. Yeah. All right, brilliant. So what biodegradable and compostable food service containers do you actually utilize within your resort? Um, well, the, the main one I wanted to get rid of were drinking straws. Mm -hmm. And there were like two types of drinking straws that I see mm -hmm. being um, uh, used at, at, at bars here typically. Um, they're the, the little red straws, which they seem to use as drink stirrers, mm -hmm. which I just never understood. I <laughs> actually use bamboo, the coffee stirrers instead okay, for that yeah, now, which yeah. work just fine. And those are made from wood. So, mm -hmm. um, and the drinking straws. Uh, so we use the, the compostable drinking straws now, which really do look just like the plastic ones, except they dissolve very okay. quickly and, and break down into harmless earthy components, mm -hmm. okay. basically. Okay. So those are the two main ones. But we also have uh, people who sometimes want takeaway meals. Okay. Um, so th we've also uh, got rid of the styrofoam clamshell containers and also the, um, the drinking cup uh, containers now. And all of those now are all um, biodegradable, compostable. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Now you said earlier that the switch actually was an easy one to make. Um, but in saying that, was it easy to source the containers then? It, 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 it wasn't at first, um, but like, like most things, you can pretty much get everything you want on Amazon. Right? <laughs> okay. So for the first go around, we mm -hmm. did actually bring in um, our own stuff mm -hmm. and we, we uh, got rid of uh, all the rest. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what we're doing now. But since then, I've actually um, been able to home in on uh, uh, s um, local uh, dis suppliers and distributors who are also rising oh. to, the, to the call and okay. are importing um, biodegradable compostable uh, containers. Okay, that's so good our, okay. our second go around, we've been sort of seeing who, who locally can, can supply it. And we found some very good prices, very competitive prices, mm -hmm. almost 
in some cases the same as what the uh, the plastic ones were. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, brilliant. Um, well, can you give us some information now about how you actually would go about actually composting the containers that you actually have that you use within your well, now? Well, <coughs> I mean, if you have the space on your property, I, ours is very large, and we do have com composting sites. It mainly has been typically for um, uh, waste, like leftover food and stuff like that. That typically is what you would you would normally compost. Mm -hmm. um, the Takeaway containers, while they can be uh, composted, and we probably could compost them in our compost piles, mm -hmm. um, but those were mainly bought because uh, of my um, care for their fate after they leave my possession. Okay. It's especially with the take. Yeah, they are takeaway containers. So mm -hmm. when you use them, it's mm -hmm. you're giving them to somebody right, else, and right. they're leaving the mm -hmm. property with them. Mm -hmm. You have no control where they end up afterwards. Mm -hmm. So you, you may as well just assume the worst. Mm -hmm. And the worst would be it's going to end up on the side of, a, of the road or it's mm -hmm. going to end up in, 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 a, in, in a drain somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and with the compostable ones, they will, they will not cause a problem. Okay. Um, unless there are a lot of them, then they would be a short-term problem, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it's not a replacement for you know, we're by no means encouraging people to throw things on the side of the road. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but at least if one does get away, you know, um, at least we know it's not going to be causing an environmental problem afterwards. Okay. So that is really um, our take on it and okay. why we've switched. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Well, this is a fascinating topic to me. But we have to just take a break just for a short while. Sure. So please stay tuned and join us again after the break. The world's climate is changing, and that affects all of us. Storms are becoming increasingly intense. Periods of intense drought and heavy rain stress farm animals and destroy our crops. Higher average ocean temperatures kill our coral reefs and change the migratory patterns of fish. St. Lucia contributes only 0.0015% of global greenhouse gas emissions, but is doing its part, along with countries around the world, to reduce the emissions that are warming our world and changing our climate. These efforts are called mitigation. But decades of emissions have already changed the climate, and the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere today will increase average global temperatures even more. We need to adapt, that is, do everything we can to prepare for and respond to the actual and expected negative effects of climate change. And everyone has a role to play. We need to protect our crops, build homes that withstand storms, and keep our drains and waterways free of garbage to help us recover or bounce back from climatic events. Learn more about the Government of St. Lucia's National Adaptation Plan and the steps you can take to protect yourself and your fellow St. Lucians. Welcome back to Issues and Answers. I am Jolene Bissett-Joseph. I'm joined today by the manager of Tikai Resort and Spa, Mr. Nick Pinnock. Now, Mr. Pinnock, before we went to break, um, you were telling, uh, telling me a little bit about the containers and, and your hope that they are being disposed in a positive way mm. and such likes. Um, however, let's look at more at the business aspect of the, 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 the property. Can you see there's a, a correlation at all between the positive environmental practices that are now being impl implemented within the, the resort and maybe um, economic benefits to the resort? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think that uh, the benefits would have to be something that you may have to stoke and push along yourselves uh, in that you would want to normally shout about your green practices. Mm -hmm. um, some hotels have, uh, have um, also applied to um, institutions such as Green Globe mm -hmm. and whatnot and, and when they get to a certain standard of greenness mm -hmm. um, they get you know, they get the permission to put the, the, the emblem or the logo on, on their okay. website, mm -hmm. which tells visiting people onto the website that these people are, um, you know, environmentally conscious and they have a certain level of, of green practices. Mm -hmm. um, so there is that, obviously. Um, I don't think it, it's yet quite at a, a stage where it trumps uh, price and service and whatnot, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're not going to stay in a hotel you're not comfortable in mm -hmm. just because it's got a Green Globe Award, for mm -hmm. instance. Um, for us, it's more of a long-term um, 
uh, view. We've taken, I've taken a long-term view. Mm -hmm. um, I, I shudder every time there's a huge rainfall. Um, and just, you know, in Castries Harbor, you, you, mm. you see the water mm -hmm. has washed out and, and you feel like you could almost walk across the harbor yeah. sometimes on, a, yeah. on, on these floating plastic mm -hmm. containers. And, and, and it ends up on the coastal beaches. And, you know, we're trying to get, we're trying to portray St. Lucia as a beautiful destination. Mm -hmm. So why would we do that if, this is happening. Mm. So to me, it's, it's more of a destinational um, uh, view, uh, very long term. And I would wish that all hotels and all users would, would now start demanding these sorts of containers and we can see the uh, single use plastics be phased out very quickly. Okay, all right. Now, as you said, you've got environmentally sustainable operating procedures now um, within the property. How have employees actually um, come to embrace the new practices? Um, well, <clears throat> I just want to jump in here and, and say that, you know, the, the, the containers, the moving from single-use plastics to um, uh, biodegradable uh, containers is not the only environmental practice that we've, we've had to institute at mm -hmm. the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, that one is quite easily because it, it, it quite easily implemented because it's basically from one day to the next, you mm -hmm. go from this brand to that brand and mm -hmm. you know, it's, 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 it's very easy to do. Okay. Um, there are, however, other practices that we have, which take a little doing because mm -hmm. people actually have to be the, the ones implementing them or caring for the systems to make sure that they're um, kept up. Okay. Um, and we've had, you know, we're a medium-sized business, mm -hmm. um, so it, it, we're still at that level where uh, we all interact with each other mm -hmm. very closely mm -hmm. and uh, things can get monitored very closely and mm -hmm. whatnot. So it, we've, we've had a high degree of success internally. It might be different for a larger organization mm -hmm. to implement certain practices and have all employees embrace it mm -hmm. at the same time. Okay. Um, so. Hopefully, I think we've managed to sidestep a lot of those challenges mm -hmm. um, just by proper communication and, and, and sort of getting the staff on board, um, you know, through dialogue and, and getting buy-in, really. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is a very interesting topic, as I was saying, and a very important one. But can you actually tell me, what other eco-friendly activities do you actually engage in? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've... Uh, We've done a lot of uh, insulating. Okay. Uh, that's that's a, a very big one. We still have a lot more to do. Mm -hmm. um, we've retrofitted a lot of our air conditioners on property to mm -hmm. more energy saving um, ACs, uh, mm -hmm. inverter type ACs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a little bit of solar power as well. Uh, not only water, but mm -hmm. electricity as well. Mm -hmm. Um, we have retrofitted all the entire resort with LED bulbs. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we, you know, fortunately we have an electricity bill to mm -hmm. be able to tell us how yeah. all of our energy um, uh, efforts are, are, are going because you get a numerical um, <laughs> result yeah. afterwards <laughs> and you can actually see it. Mm -hmm. um, and there are also a lot, uh, the amenities in the rooms as well, for instance. Uh, you've probably seen in a lot of hotel rooms, either real life or on TV, they usually have these little um, uh, tubes mm -hmm. where the shampoos and the lotions come in. We've moved away from all of those now and we have our own pump bottles mm -hmm. in the showers and bathrooms and, okay. and we refill those okay. with stuff that we buy okay. in bulk, basically. Okay. So I would think that that's... Uh, that, pretty much rounds it up. Uh, okay. I might have missed a couple, but we, we're doing a lot. Doing part. Yeah, yeah, definitely doing yeah. a part. And you're not going to see anything like Green Globe on, on, on our website. Mm -hmm. um, maybe one day I will. Um, uh, maybe one day I will apply in, to one of these institutions and, and get sort of the green recognition that, that you know, a lot of people uh, want to have on their website now. But for now, we're, we're really doing it um, just, you know, because we, we think it's necessary and, yeah. and we really want other people to follow, follow okay. suit. All right, yeah. brilliant. Well, sadly, we have run out of time, however. It has been such an interesting conversation. So, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And thank you also for joining the National Television Network. 
do stay tuned. But however, right now, from Issues and Answers, we're saying bye-bye. See, time went very fast.